Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you tuning in for the very first time, my name is Kathy and welcome to my channel. Um, this is a look that I did here. It's a, it's, a, it's a first for me, but I really like it. I hope you guys like, to, like it too. And um, I'm just gonna stop rambling on. So enjoy the video. Prior to filming, I went ahead and started off with my eyebrows. I started off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color taupe. I went ahead and carved out my brows and um, primed my lid with the Ellie Girl Pro Concealer in the color porcelain. And as you can see, I did tape on the side here. We're going to be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. We're going to be going in with the shade Saturn. I'm going to be using the Morphe M573 brush. It looks a little something like this. So as you can see, I started off with my right eye and then I dipped into the palette and also that you saw there, I tucked the color off and what I'm going to be doing is just going back and forth and then just little circles like that because we're going to be using this as our base color over here it's so pretty it's like a peachy color I don't know it's so beautiful I like peach tones especially starting off with colors like this as like the transition shade it drives me like it drives me like insane but like in a good way it puts me in a good mood and as you can see I dipped into the color and then I'm just going to be dragging it back and forth. We're going to be blending this out using little circles. Just make sure that you do that. I don't know what it is lately. Like, like the farther back I'm putting back the tape, the freaking tape keeps lifting on me. And usually, like, I what I do, like a little trick of the tape that I do is I put it in the back of my hand here. And then... Wait it out a couple seconds and pull it off and I don't like to put the tape on here because it'll pull off my skin. I don't know what's going on guys. But it's okay, we're not gonna let that rain out day. We're just gonna keep working on our eye and our blend over here. Blending her out. And I'm still using the same brush. Next color we're gonna be going in with is parallel right over here. I'm still using the same brush and then lightly we're just going to go across here, okay? And then we're going to go little circles just to blend her out. Just really lightly because we're just using that as a transition shade. It's okay that it's a little harsh. If you can see it's a little bit harsh because with the excess we're going to do the outer corner right over here. It's perfectly fine and at the same time Damn it, I'm just, I'm just, this type is really annoying the crap out of me. But anyways, just, just focus on the outer corner right over here. If you need to go back in, do it. But like, just tap it off as you just recently saw there. Tap her off and just remember to go like little circles really lightly at the same time. We're just building her up here and I'm going to keep tapping this off and then what I'm going to do really lightly, just go across here back and forth and then little circles. This is all with the same brush by the way. You can use a new brush too but I'm choosing to do the same brush because it has a little bit of the parallel color on there and I want it to blend all the way in and be really intense here in the outer corner. I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease so I'm going to be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and cut, um, did I cut crease? I didn't cut anything. I cut the eyeshadow. Anyhow, I used um, the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the, it's not like color, it says Flat White Corrector. Okay, I went ahead and used this. 
to cut the crease i use the bh cosmetics 102 brush i do not have a discount code however i use ebates ebays has the bh cosmetics website and off that website you get to have money off i'm going to link everything down below next color we're going to be going in with is sphinx right over here so sorry if the palette is all over the place i'm still trying to figure out an easy way for me to like do this and then put up the palette so forgive me the the brush that i'm using is sigma eye shading e5 5 brush uh, i have a discount code where you can have 10 percent off site wide i'm going to list that down below all right so while this concealer is still wet i'm just going to be packing on this color on here you're gonna have a little bit of fallout, but that's perfectly fine because we're just gonna keep packing that on. As you can see, I'm going back into the palette, still packing her on there. And then I'm just kind of blending here. And fun fact, you guys, I went a little bit higher than usual on the cut crease because I messed up. But I wanted to keep going, you guys, and I wanna, I don't wanna be a quitter just because I messed up. I've been messing up lately. What is the matter with me? But anyways, just as I said earlier, while this is wet, just keep packing her on there just so she can grab the color and it can set at the same time. And then just blend her down. That's perfectly fine. We're going to be leaving a, uh, leaving a little space for another color there. So hold on. So I changed my mind about the cut crease. I'm leaving like a little space here. Uh, I decided to fill it all in just to keep it cute and simple. And I really like how this is coming out. So moving on, um, I'm going back, um, going back into the shade Parallel. And with the same brush, uh, the Morphe M573 brush, it's the same blending brush that we began with. I'm just going to be going back into the outer corner over here and just start blending her out here since we're a little bit harsh on the edges. But it's always, you have to trust the process, you guys. I'm just blending. Has it ever, like, do you guys change your makeup look last minute too? Because I do it all the time. Sometimes I have my thoughts set on something and I'm like, no, we're going to change it. That's how I function. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend this way as well with the excess. This tape, man, is really pissing me off. Okay, so now that I'm blending, I'm done blending, sorry. Now that I am done blending, I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes and also my eyeliner. So I'm going to be right back. So I'm back. It was a long one. A long one. So we're back. What I used for eyeliner was a Sigma Beauty gel liner in the color Wicked. This was a pain this time to do it i don't know why maybe because it's a gel or maybe because of the weather right now it's kind of chilly i don't know what's going on i may have to get a new liner until this one the lashes that i'm wearing is from lily lashes in the style brooklyn and if you can see over here i don't know but it kind of comes in this cute little thing it's in the style brooklyn and then I went ahead and applied um, a white eyeliner. It's the NYX um, Retractable White Eyeliner in the color white. As you can see over here. And then off camera, I went ahead and put on my contacts. And yeah. Next, I'm going to be doing is foundation. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Hydrating Foundation in the color 190. I have two pumps on each side of my face. I don't know if you can see that. You can see this one dripping. This is low key, the, the drippage is low key satisfying on my face because it's like really cold and it's cool. Anyways, um, I'm using the Wet Beauty Blender. Make sure that she's wet so that she can fully function and make sure you um, beat your face but gently do it all over your face. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing this off camera. 
Okay, so moving on to contour. Okay, so for I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Concealer in the color 190. And I'm gonna be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Medium Biscay. And it should look a little something like this. Same beauty blender, um, make sure she's wet. Make sure you blend everything out, take your time because this is a process. Okay, so I blended everything out and we're gonna be doing things a little bit different. Um, I noticed my skin has been getting kind of oily lately. So what I did for baking was the, I'm gonna grab the top of it, the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the color uh, BV of Banana. And um, I went ahead and Applied it with a wet beauty blender as you can see here. I just have it setting in here right now And then I just started off with the side of my nose and then my forehead here since I've been Really extra greasy or oily there lately but um yeah, so We're gonna be going into the Morphe 8L palette right over here I'm gonna be grabbing the Morphe M572 brush and I'm going to be going to the color Donut right over here. And then I'm going to be going back and forth here in my cheeks over here. Now with the excess, I usually do the size of my nose, but since we're kind of baking the nose to try to absorb as much oil as possible, we're going to leave that for last. Okay, same color. We're going to be using the M580 brush. Remember to tap the color off as well. And then as I'm using the mirror here and looking in the camera as well, I'm just going to be blending this out. I usually do this. It looks a little harsh. And then I'm just going to be blending inside the hairline here. We need to make to we need to make this look as blended as possible. And of course, I'm doing my jawline. I'm trying to blend her down here too. Okay, so since we're kind of done like um blending up our powder contour um so what i went ahead and did was start baking process i'm currently using the ben nye luxury powder and the color bvo banana i just did the sides here and i reapplied my forehead area and a little bit of my nose but i'm just letting that set there and we're gonna wait it out about two minutes we're gonna be going back to the anastasia palette the prison palette Next color we're going to be going in with is Saturn right over here. I'm going to be using the Morphe E17 brush. Tap off the color and then right, I'm just strategically going to do this. I don't want to block the camera. Okay, here we go. I'm just softly building this out because I want you guys to see and this is a really hard position for me to do this. Next color we're going to be going in with is Parallel right over here. Hope you guys can see this. I'm just going back and forth. Really lightly though because this is kind of... Yeah, I'm going to have to go back to the right eye. I'll be right back. Okay, so I brought the eyeshadow was down as much as I could. I want a little bit of ham here. So I kind of brought this down, but it's okay. I'm going to be grabbing the Morphe 8L palette. I'm going to be grabbing this shade over here, Supernova. And then this has like, not really a lot of product on it, but I just want to be something really pretty, really subtle since the eyes are freaking heavy. My mistake. I might keep its bill over here. Remember to apply it to your chin. Okay, so we're, we're, this is what we're going to do. We're going to lightly go up and down the nose. And then right here. 
oh yeah before i forget i'm gonna be using the morph or i'm using the morphe m433 brush i'm gonna go back into the palette i'm gonna be using the color lit the brush i'm going to be using is the sigma pencil brush the e30 um i have a code i'm going to link it down below and by using that code you get to have 10 percent off site-wide so this has product i'm not dusting anything off so i'm just pressing her in there in the inner corner and then i'm bonding her out because we love a pop and then again but I'm just going to be dragging her lightly, okay? And this is a little trick I'm going to do. Same blending brush or a clean blending brush, whatever the case is. The same blend blending brush I'm going to continue using is the Morphe M573 brush. I'm going to tap it off just in case if there's any excess. What I'm going to do lightly drag it across my eye okay drag it back and forth and do little circles just so we can blend that highlight too so this is the final look bye guys i'm just kidding okay so off camera as you can see i went ahead and did my hair and then for lips i went ahead and did the anastasia beverly hills cider liquid lipstick it looks a little something like this um this is pretty. I like this. But um, yeah, here's a final look. I hope you guys enjoyed every step of the way. If you guys know what you guys want to watch, let me know what you guys want to see. Um, let me know anything. Communicate with me. I need ideas here. I'm running, I'm running out of ideas here, people. But I know that. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you for sticking all the way through. Please remember to like, to subscribe to my channel. And um, see you guys next time. Bye.